A village in Ford County is celebrating a bit of an anniversary coming up here soon. Yeah, it's a big milestone and it's happening in your community with the Melvin 1971 time capsule reveal. Donna Lee joins us here at our uh, dining room table. Hi, Donna. How are Hello, you? Hello. I'm just great. Thanks. Well, this is exciting. Things happening in Melvin because years ago, you all decided to bury a time capsule and the day has come for the dig up. So what did we find? Well, it's already been dug up. We did that ahead of time and it was, it was wet. It was buried <laughs> during our town centennial 50 years ago. And so now it's time to dig it up. And everything was wet. We went through a process to dry that out. And there were things in there like um, there's envelopes for families that have um, newspaper articles in them and hopefully maybe even a letter, a personal letter from the family. But because things were wet, they, um, uh, the ink disappeared on the envelope. Oh, no. no. So you don't know who it's so for? We don't always know until we do a little bit more reading and, wow. and information to see. Wow, it there's really a... took a big excavator there to yeah, dig you didn't, that you did. up. You didn't just, like, put this under some leaves in the backyard. No. Right? No, it was, it was deep down in there. I mean, it was, and wow. then, then we found, you know, it's, it's a, it was a small size um, casket, vault, I should say. Mm -hmm. And then we, when we took the lid off of it, um, Every, you know, there's moisture on the inside. Oh. Some of the envelopes, they, about the size of a manila envelope, some of them look like they'd been encrusted with like gold glitter because of where they really? were on, in, resting mm. in there with the cement and the grit and the water and everything. I heard there was so, some film in here as well, and there's a bit of a connection with WCIA. What, what can you tell us about that? Well, they, the Centennial Committee left the film to, not left the film, but had the film real, and there was a note on there that said, you know, it's to WCIA, that we have that one, and we're like, oh gosh, what's going to happen with that? Yeah. And then there was also a duplicate that was stored in our local library. Oh, okay. Oh, so, good call. So that's been transferred now to modern day technology. I what will was say that, that picture right there, I walked by our oh, boss's that, yeah, office. Yeah. Oh, is this the video? Oh, okay. maybe it is. Yes, yeah. it is, I think. I haven't seen this part yet, but... Oh, oh I my know goodness. You There's, don't or you do? No, I do. The, the Centennial Queen w was on there. And the, in order to be a Centennial Queen, you, um, the candidate sold um, pageant tickets. Okay. And so it was based on... Like a raffle. It was based on ticket sales. It wasn't a beauty pageant. So it wasn't a swimsuit competition no. or... It was the biggest you know, fundraiser. It was, makes yeah, sense. So, and then um, they sold that? tickets for about... This is some actually really good footage. It's fun to I'm, see that. I'm excited to see it. Yeah. Oh, is this the so, first time you're seeing it? It's the first time I've seen oh, it. Oh, okay. There's Les Aarons, a congressman who's born and raised in Melvin. There's the Centennial Queen, Donna Siders. So this is, would have been a parade, perhaps, this you had parade. in 71? Mm -hmm. Is this Donna Siders still with us? Yes, and she's going to introduce the uh, rest of the Queen's Court at our event on Saturday. Oh, my There'll goodness. There'll be about six or seven people. Look at I that. Say, Shriners. I say, yes. When I first saw the packaging around the film, it was sitting in our boss's office, and it looked like something Dirty. out of a pirate ship, yeah. or something that they had dug from <laughs> with, the bottom of the with ocean. Barnacles on yes, it. Right? Yes, yes, very similar to that. Yeah. Wow. So you guys are going to make this now available for the public to see and sort of have a bit of a celebration this weekend. Yes. So this weekend on Saturday, July third, at from one to three at the Ford County Fairgrounds, we've um, been decorating the dance building. We, it's a free event. We want people to come. We'll have all kinds of memorabilia on display. Plus, then people will be able to claim their items, oh, their envelopes yes. oh, that were part of the um, time capsule. So if their family's been there for 50 years or more, there's a chance that right. they would and have I, some yeah. stuff. And I've been contacting people that, you know, I'm like, oh, I know these family connections. I recognized handwriting. because I Really? Well, I'm, I'm from Melvin. I was born and raised there. And I, this was my senior year of high school that mm. that okay. was happening. So I know a lot of the people. Well, Sounds yes. like it's going to be a bit of a homecoming then yeah, for people. Yeah, it's going to be exciting times. And how thankful that it happened this year and not last year when right. everything was shut down <laughs> and right. then we couldn't have celebrated and yeah. had this big, you know, um, party yeah. to celebrate 150 yeah. years. Wow. If the founders had uh, founded the town in 1870, it would have thrown no. everything off. That's so. true. Could have been done. Ooh, <laughs> we got right. some, um, looks like we got That's some the queen. wardrobe. Mm -hmm. The queen had um, an outfit for herself and her husband and her uh, little daughter. Husband that was no in the pants. capsule? That was, no, that was in her house. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. It does so seem like the, the one is missing pants. That was for <laughs> the little girl. No, it was the vest for her. Oh, it was yeah, the vest. It was the vest. Oh, the, okay. Made, That's not a complete outfit. Made the outfits, yeah. Thank you, Donna. We appreciate Good. it. And clear that cool. up. Very cool. Good. Very cool okay. stuff happening there in right, Melvin. Thanks. And they've got a Facebook page that she also manages that you can Sorry. connect with and learn more. And I believe Donna's phone is ringing because they've seen her on CI Living. So, <laughs> whoever's calling, hi.
the time. <laughs> yes, we're live. <laughs> the top ways to keep your forever friends safe this 4th of July. I know they're just calling to tell her she did a great job. So, you <laughs> by veterinary um, medicine is going to teach us a few things. And later, getting your backyard prepped for entertaining. We'll find out which areas that you're going to want to tackle first. <laughs>